Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. Today we are starting the series of UI Builder. In today's video we discuss the overview and I will show you one particular page which is created by UI Builder. Okay, so let's get started with the very basic details. First of all, what is a UI Builder? So UI Builder is a web user interface builder to build pages for the workspaces and portals. So it is basically a web user interface or you can say it is a kind of website okay so in service now if you want to create a look and feel with respect to a website you have to create it via ui builder so basically it is a creation of pages so n number of pages are there combining those pages will provide a particular workspace to you or a particular portal to you so at the end we can say that by using UI Builder we can create websites and in these websites we have pages and collection of pages is known as a workspace or a portal. So what are the key features of UI Builder? Create or customize pages for workspace and portal experience. So as I told earlier we can create pages within the workspaces and portal. So, so I hope you understand what is a workspace. So workspace is nothing but a kind of experience with respect to a particular role. Let's say service tax agent. So you can say it is a website which is there for service tax agent and in that website he will get most number of things at the same page. Not like previously where the service tax agent has to work directly on the incident but now he can see all the incident assigned to him. He can see all the approvals. He can request something. He can interact with the users directly from a particular workspace so kind of dashboard which is provided to help a particular role and to get the work done in a very uh, you know sophisticated and easy manner we will see the workspaces and portal in some time just be with me next feature is create variants of pages to target experiences for different audiences for example you can create a home page for agent and a variant for manager at the same URL. So it means with the same URL we have the capability to show different thing to different people based on their interest based on the roles. Okay. So if you have seen in tables we have views right and these views are different for different different people based on their role based on their conditions based on their need. So the same thing is replicated here with respect to variant. Okay, so for a page you can create n number of variants and for that page the URL will be the same but based on the variant we will be able to display things accordingly. Then we have UI build a library of components to build your pages. So ServiceNow has provided a huge library and in that you can see or you will find each and every object whatever you need to design your workspace whatever you need to create or build your page then we have the capability to bind data to your components using data sources to dynamically expose your data from table records or any other elements of the page it means whatever component you are adding on the page you have the capability to bind that component with a particular table so that the data from that table will be displayed dynamically to the user. Then we have the option to create a page with much more designing. It means you have the option to create layouts. You have the option to use different type of layouts within your page. At the last you have the option to include your CSS as well. It means if you are not satisfied what ServiceNow has provided, let's say a layout. okay. So in that case you can create your own layout as well. So all such possibilities are available with respect to UI builder of service now. So now let me go to the instance and show you one of it. Just write down UI builder here. Click on it. So this is how it looks like. You can see all the available experiences here. Okay. This is demo instance so you will not find much but this is enough to explain everything to you. We do have the option to create a new experience. Click on plus. And here you have to provide certain basic things. First of all name. Then URL path. It means whatever you write here. It will be coming here. And this is the complete URL for your website. Or you can say for your experience. Okay. Then we have this app shell UI. App shell UI is nothing but a wrapper. 
of this particular page you can say it is a kind of category or you can say it is a kind of theme okay so we have n number of themes or categories here you see header app shell portal app shell uxr base experience excel workspace excel it means it is signifying all the kind of dashboards which are available within service now right now like workspace if you are creating something with respect to workspaces so you can use this particular theme or category then uxr it means if you are building something related to website you can use this one if you are building something related to portal okay if you are building a portal experience you have to select this one so like this you can select your own app shell ui with respect to your requirement then finally we have the landing path a landing path is the prefix that people use to reach out to your experience so so you can say a landing path is nothing but the home page okay the very first page of your experience it is the initial thing whenever people trying to reach to your experience they will reach to this one at the very beginning then finally we have roles okay so whichever user you want to display you want to show this experience you can write down the roles here okay as simple as that so we are not going to create it today we will do it in the next video for the time being let me open one of the experience that is my first experience so these are the details of the experience you can see the structure you can see all the pages which are available in this particular experience you can see the url path you can see the scope of this particular application this is the app shell as well as you can see the name of your experience okay just click here you can easily navigate to all the pages all the variants which you have if you want to change the settings of your experience click on settings you will be redirect here where you can change the title you can change the url path and as well as landing path so in landing path you see i have selected the home one as a my very first home page so this is the one where the people land whenever they reach to this particular experience okay just go back and here most important thing is page and variant so you know what is a page and what is a variant so you see here so you see here this is the list of pages this is the home page or you can say this is the landing page and each and every page has a single variant right now but based on your requirement you can create more than one variant i will show you that example later in other videos okay so each page has a name and a url if you want to make some change click here in the setting you can make changes like this okay at the bottom you can see page parameters also what are page parameters how to use it we will see in the next video just go back then under the page you will see a particular variant so this variant is having the same url path which is there for the page that we already know but as we have more than one variant that's why you have the order here we have the audiences as you know variant can be displayed to different different audiences based on their role based on their conditions so you can specify the audience here you can specify the conditions here based on that the variants will be displayed accordingly okay you have the option to see the settings these all are the settings okay you can update all these things from here and you also have the option to edit this particular variant so what will happen if i click on editor it will open the real thing which is the face or you can say which is the interface of this particular variant so click on it so you see here this is the real thing which we are going to discuss today in the center you are seeing what we have designed for this particular variant what is going to be displayed to the user okay this is something like that at the left hand side you have the structure of this particular page or variant at the right hand side you have the configurations of this variant okay let me show you one by one so you see at the left hand side right now if i select this the pink boundary is with respect to body because i have selected body then if i select here you will see this is the column layout one so whatever you are seeing this is the structure so it means first of all we have to create a structure and then based on the structure we have to add certain elements okay so first of all you see if i select this one this is the complete column layout one 
and at the same time you see the basic details of column layout one like here if I click here you will be able to change the settings here okay like component level component ID you know whatever elements we have on the web page each and every element has its own unique ID so this is the same ID if you want to make a change in the ID you can do so and just click on apply so that it will be changed here okay but we are not changing it because we want the system to handle it and we do not interfere but in case if you need you can change directly okay let's come back within this particular column layout you will see here column 1 okay so this is the column 1 again you see the details here and under column 1 you are seeing experience heading so if I select this one this is the experience heading and if we come here in the right hand side you will see all the basic details and all the values with respect to this heading here okay in config you are able to see the style you can change the style here you see the style is changing then you have the option to change the label here the same label is coming here right so just remove this heading here you see it is changed like whatever options are available to manage headings you will be able to see it here okay now let's come to style under this you will be able to style it more like you can change the alignment you can change the sizing you can uh, change the spaces or margins or padding okay everything is available here let me show you just remove this you see it is changed right if you want to change the background color this is also possible so everything is possible just by few clicks okay so just select it you will be able to see the structure and you will be able to modify the values and finally after style you have the event so event is nothing but it's kind of a call of a function you know what will happen when somebody click on it so it's a kind of event so you have the option to create such events we have not created one yet so I will show you in some different video but this is the meaning of event okay so at the top you have the option to see the presets so presets are nothing but the predefined values with respect to this particular component so if I come back here select this one you see what is this this is a simple list and in this simple list you see the configuration here from where the data is coming you can see the table here how many fields you want to show here number of column you want to display here you can do the group by as well you can see the maximum rows all the possible things with respect to this particular item is available hide the links so all these options are what this is giving you enough opportunity to modify this particular list with respect to your requirement okay you so you can come here add it and check it in the same way in the style you can see all the basic details with respect to style here background border shadow and event the same thing okay so I hope till now you have understood what is this at the left hand side what is this at the right hand side and what is this this is the main page which we are designing now let us see the preview of this one click here open URL path so you see this is the complete URL for this experience so this is how the URL look like this is how the very first page of this experience looks like this is the URL path and this is the landing path if you remember it is not looking that much professional but uh, if you are a good designer you will be able to design it good based on your requirement okay so just for testing purpose we did it and this is our in front of you in our next video we will discuss more options we will try to create a page from scratch we will try to create a page from templates we will try to add components and do other stuff okay so till then thank you so much bye bye see you next video